Do not resist or run from the difficulties in your life. These problems are not random mistakes. They are hand-tailored blessings designed for your benefit and growth. Embrace all the circumstances that I allow in your life, trusting me to bring good out of them. View problems as opportunities to rely more fully on me. When you start to feel stressed, let those feelings alert you to your need for me. Thus your needs become doorways to deep dependence on me and increasing intimacy between us. Although self-sufficiency is acclaimed in the world, reliance on me produces abundant living in my kingdom. Thank me for the difficulties in your life, since they provide protection from the idolatry of self-dependence. I'd like to share with you uh, two scriptures also. In John 15, verse 5, the Lord says, I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. And then I'll also share with you in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20. Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. What a, what a gift it is to struggle I think as a parent, you know, I, I look at my children and it's tough for me sometimes to watch them struggle with things. Uh, when Lily, my youngest girl, was cutting her first teeth, I remember I was watching her cry and uh, it hurt. So I prayed and I prayed and I asked the Lord to please take this pain away. And he told me, but Nick, the pain is necessary. If she doesn't experience it, she won't have teeth. And that was just profound to me. I think about this scripture here in John 15, I am the vine and ye are the branches. Um, I do a lot of gardening and to effectively grow certain plants like rose bushes uh, or grapevines you have to you have to prune the uh, the plant and you have to cut off pieces of it and that pruning process in our life <clears throat> is a lot like the trials that we experience sometimes it hurts when we have to cut off pieces of us <laughs> right or cut out pieces of our lives but when we abide in the vine and we go through the process and we trust in the Lord, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. These days that we live in are crazy. And there's a lot of chaos and commotion in addition to the trials, the traumas and pain and anxiety that we experience. So, with all these distractions, the devil is just trying to manipulate our minds or deceive us into thinking that we need to fear or we need to be stressed out about something. But it's just the opposite. When we can abide in the Lord, when we can trust in Him, when we can be nourished by His words, those anxieties, we can look at them with a different perspective. We can look at them as opportunities to draw us nearer to the Savior. Whenever we start to get stressed out, we can choose to take a few deep breaths and say a prayer and say, Heavenly Father, I trust you. And let him do what he does. And sometimes he'll navigate you through the storm. Sometimes he'll make you stay put. But it's always always nice to know that he's there when we're going through it. I love you and I testify to you that he loves you and that no matter the storm that you experience when you trust in him you won't fall. He's got you. I love you and I bear this testimony in Jesus name.